<laughs> this is exactly what it looks like. Look, you, you ready for this? Ready for this? Yeah, you see that? I actually bought one. I did. I got one of these. And I intend on keeping it after this review. I didn't get this for satire. I didn't get this for the memes. I got one of these because I wanted one of these. This is my deploy. I'm keeping it. And after the unholy reputation this thing has gotten, I just had to have one in my collection. I need to collect the bad blasters, right? <sighs> you guys are not physically or mentally prepared for what I'm about to say here. Are you ready for it? This blaster is decent. Not good, decent. And I have to review one of these because otherwise I'm going to get memes up the ass about it. So we're going to be reviewing the original N-Strike Deploy CS6 today. Let's get into it. If we collapse it and start off with the design, you can see just how ridiculously basic and blocky it looks, but that's mainly so that the gimmick will work. With the push of this one button, this will flip down, the stock will extend, and the grip will fold down, and it looks super cool. It literally deploys, and it's such a smooth transition that all happens almost at the same time. First this flips down, and then the stock moves back, and the movement of the stock causes the grip to slide down into place. These two pieces I believe are connected with a gearing system on the inside. I can't imagine how complicated that is if you actually were to open this thing and try to modify it. I've heard that modding this is a nightmare and a half. But honestly, here's one thing I'd like to note. Considering the fact that the stock moves back, you see that? See how much force I'm putting on the stock? It doesn't collapse. It's because of the simple yet ingenious way that this is designed. This is the button that you use to collapse the stock. It is solid and it sticks out far enough to give the stock a place to rest on and put all its force on. And because it pushes directly in and doesn't like slide forwards or slide anywhere, it is extraordinarily stable and it holds a ton of weight on it. That stock will not collapse unless you push the button. The same goes with the grip. Somehow the grip is incredibly solid considering the fact that it literally folds up. That's insanity to me. Not only is that insanity, but it's also my transition to the ergonomics. This grip, considering it moves, is actually super stable and very comfortable. It's smooth and filleted all around like most grips are, even though this finger choil right here is a little bit too tight for my liking, it works all right. The trigger pull, eh, it could be better, but it works just fine. Again, considering the abundance of things going on here. As for the stock, it's short, but it works and it's stable. And it actually feels pretty good to shoulder considering the fact that you're basically putting your weight on the sling point. That's usually super uncomfortable, but it's not too annoying here. As for the pump grip, it's big, big enough to get my whole hand on and it is very comfortable to hold on to. I think they actually nailed the ergonomics here very well, especially with the carry handle. It's got this big grip on it so that it's actually comfortable to use the carry handle as a carry handle. Before I get onto the functionality though, I want to address something that I'm sure everyone's been thinking throughout this whole video. It's loud, and it's got quite a chunky rattle to it. And that comes down to two things that you can't really blame Nerf for nowadays. I mean, you can blame one of these things, but not the second one. The decay of plastic over time is a real thing. The plastic isn't any weaker, but it's just a bit more loose. It's rattly, and it's a bit noisier than it used to be. The other thing is the fact that there's so many moving parts here that it's inevitable for it to be a little bit loose. With all that said though, the blaster actually feels extremely good. The plastic is solid and it, it's really held up well over time. Like there's no squeeze to any of these pieces at all. It's just because they're loose and they move that the pieces just kind of rub against each other and it causes a lot of noise. Surprisingly, the build for this blaster is better than most of the builds for modern Nerf blasters all around. That's sad. The stupid gimmicky nugget from 2010 is better than most modern day like high-end nerf blasters. Now it's time for the part everyone's been waiting for and you're probably gonna be disappointed. How does it work? You pull this back, you put your mag in, you push it forward, you fire once. It doesn't have slam fire. This pump is on par with the Mega Twin Shock or the Mega Double Breach. Unironically, an unbelievably smooth, crisp, buttery pump with this slight little grit to it that just feels, oh, it's, it's wonderful. I'm not saying that as satire. This is an actual review. This is not a satirical review. I love this pump way too much. On top of that, watch this. Did you see that just stock mag drop 
a six round magazine. The lightest magazine Nerf makes and it mag drops it effortlessly right out of the box with no modifications. Here's another thing. This, this kind of isn't worth talking about, but I think it is. It has a flashlight and the flashlight's on par with the Night Finder. So it's not good, but it's better than most Nerf flashlights. Um, it is a flashlight. There's really no complaints with it. It's cool, it's gimmicky, and I think it's fun to just have that in the blaster just because considering why not? It's just one of those things that you say why not to. I still can't find my tripod. Here we go. We're gonna do this. Firing back. So yeah, the performance isn't good even by end strike standards. It hits about mid 50s, which is just absolutely ridiculous and the most nugget tier performance ever. But let's be honest, if you bought this thing, it wasn't for performance. It's because opening it and closing it is the funnest thing on the entire planet. And generally, I would give this blaster a six out of 10 because it's actually pretty competent in its ability considering what it's trying to accomplish here. Are you ready? It's good. It's good. I actually like this thing. I'm not saying that as satire. There's nothing wrong with it. When you get something like this, you don't get it to effectively smash everybody else on the field. Heck, you don't even get it to shoot other people much at all in the first place. Chances are that's not why you're getting this. If you got a deep boy, most likely it was because it was super duper fun and ridiculous and goofy, and you just wanted it because of the goofy gimmick that it has. You weren't getting it to be effective in performance. And even then, the blaster is still very good at its job. The pump is smooth. The magazine insertion is nice. It's just pleasant to play with. I mean, they literally put a Night Finder flashlight on it for heaven's sake. There's no reason for that to be there at all because that's not what the blaster is advertising, but they put it there anyway just because they knew it would be fun. So yeah, uh, sorry if this was disappointing to you guys, but I unironically like the deploy. So with that said, subscribe if you're new, like if you enjoy, and comment down below what do you think of the deploy, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!